Hello, Renata. Hi, Linda. Nice to meet you again. I didn't see you quite a long time. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> uh, I would like to introduce Renata. She's working on board almost uh, 13 years. That's correct. Correct. Uh, she started on Rivergoin vessels and uh, then she continued with work on Seagoin vessels. Yeah. As we are doing top cruise employers several years, our top uh, employers from uh, Seagoin and Rivergoin vessels. Yeah. And for the last season, 2018, there was on third place Sea Chefs, where you was mm -hmm. working also. Mm -hmm. Then on second place Aida. Mm -hmm. And on first place we had Arosa. So you know, know almost all companies. It's uh, really interesting because I worked for two of the companies, Sea Chefs and Aida. And about Arosa I heard uh, quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Good positive, <laughs> positive, positive, <laughs> amazing. Can you uh, tell to why you started to work on uh, ships? It started uh, really, it was really funny because I just saw a picture of uh, big cruise ships, it was uh, one of the Ida ships mm -hmm. with a big smile and blue eyes and I loved it and I was thinking just uh, once it will be very nice to work on such a lovely smile ship and uh, I done actually everything to reach uh, this my With which company did you start I started on uh, river going vessels mm -hmm. uh, I worked for river advice uh, excellent partner uh, sea chefs and Viking so what was the best when you work for this river uh, going vessels uh, what did you really got from these companies, if you remember the most positive things you got there? The most positive things I got from River Cruises vessels was uh, the discipline, the standards, to reach the standards, to keep the standards, mm -hmm. very good trainings. For example, Sea Chefs had such a good trainings uh, for, uh, not just for management, for every single position. Do you mean the trainings before uh, starting season or also during the season? Also during the season, but most important is that uh, they are training the people before embarkation. Before their first embarkation, they train the people, they keep them in the real world, like they have one empty ship in harbor where the people are coming, mm -hmm. the new employees, are coming and are trained for different kind of situations. Yeah. What so do you think that it could be so positive also for the employees that they are really voting then for the for the company? Yes. They like yes. that. This, this is definitely because they are coming uh, to the vessel, mm -hmm. they are embarking the ship and they know already exactly how the business is working. Amazing. And if you compare that with seagoing vessels, uh, how you see the difference when we are talking also about numbers of employees it's quite different can yes, you tell right. us the yeah uh, on the on the river uh, going vessels you have like 220 uh, passengers and 65 crew members on sea going vessels uh, you have 650 uh, crew members and 2500 uh, passengers nice big difference yeah it's already <laughs> a big difference yeah also in the positions everything mm -hmm. and what about the nationalities when you compare uh, nationalities in river going vessels in europe and on sea going vessel mm -hmm. on uh, river going vessels you have like 11 12 13 nationalities on board uh, of course on sea going vessels is 26, 27, 30, 32 nationalities. Nice mix? It's a very nice mix. And what about building teams? What was better for you to build a nice good team on rivers or seagoing vessels? How you see that? On the rivers, because uh, what I'm missing on the seagoing vessels uh, is this preparation. Because ah, on board understand. you don't have the time to train the people properly. So you are just, just going and be jumped in? Exactly, you are jumping. You have their management, uh, they are trying to prepare you, but you don't have that real time because you have still guests on board. Mm -hmm. But this time what is uh, doing, for example, the sea chefs or uh, other uh, river going companies, you have the, this preparation, this 
preparation of the crew members before they are embarking the real mm -hmm. vessel. Well, and I would like to come back also to our winner, uh, Arosa. What do you think from the people you heard already from your colleagues? What do you think? Why they got uh, this prize that they are almost always in uh, top three and now they got first place of the best employer? I think it's the uh, they are taking care of the employees. The most important thing is they are controlling the working hours. This is something what I will suggest to all companies. Please keep inside the working hours. Because when you have crew members which are supposed to work five, six, seven, eight months on board and they are supposed to work 14 and more hours, the crew member gonna be damaged after three, four months. But yeah, and when do you expect from the people that they will be full power working? It's not exactly. working, yeah, yeah it's if not they working. are tired. 12 hours is already the maximum. Mm -hmm. What is good, and I see also positive, that there is possibility to spend time in a gym uh, on board, that exactly. people could do that. And you ally with also, for, on your last contract, when you was working as a hotel controller, on mm -hmm. working for the IDA, mm -hmm. can you tell me something more about this job and about possibility to how, how you was able to relax for the crew members? Uh, actually, uh, IDA is as well a very good uh, company. They are taking care of the employees. We have such a possibilities. Uh, we have a uh, crew bar, we have gym, we had a uh, sauna. We Can you drink in the crew bar? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, everything um, you need to think that every single crew member on board has as well his safety duty. And this safety duty you need to be able to do 24 hours. It means even when you have one or two drinks, you need to be so fit that you still can do proper your safety duty. That's yeah, really what, what does mean uh, safety duty? What do you have to do in this case? Well, uh, we have different kind of scenario which uh, we are trained for. This is when we have some disaster on board. We don't want to have this, but yeah, we need to fire or something like that. Fire, we go down. You alive did also fire on board, yeah? <laughs> yes, <laughs> unfortunately, yes. It was, uh, if, you, if you could could explain, it was hard, uh, this situation on board, when you see the really people, what they are doing, are they under the big pressure, stressing, or they are calmed down and they are able to alive that? No, actually for every single human being is fire something which will put you under the pressure and it doesn't matter how good you are trained you still will find crew members which will get stressed yeah and be lost and be lost yeah. i can imagine you that you are really <laughs> i can imagine you really how how you, you can uh, manage it with a calm down with a smile you are well trained, I guess. But I'm already well trained and uh, experienced. I'm already many yeah. years in But the it's also uh, the mentality yeah, of the person, yes. how you can stay uh, calm and to be not under the big pressure and to help the others. Yeah. So it was, you are able, in this case, to help the others. I am definitely able to do this. Yeah, amazing. And what about uh, your career, how you build it? On which position did you start it 13 years ago? Mm -hmm. And how you came to position of hotel control? Can you tell us? Well, I started in housekeeping. Then I continued in restaurant and bar. I went to the reception. I was receptionist, night auditor, poor sir, chief receptionist, assistant hotel manager, and hotel controller on seagoing vessels. But even by AIDA, I started as receptionist, then I was night auditor, and then I was... You went controller. for the position of hotel controller. Yes. And it's big responsibility. Yeah, it is. Uh, as position. Uh, do you see that good when you went step by step to each position uh, on board that you really uh, grow up for the hotel controller? Do you see that as positive? Definitely. And I will suggest uh, this to every single manager. Mm -hmm because small steps are doing the big deals. So when you learn small and you learn different kind of positions, then you can more understand mm -hmm. the position of the management. What would you like to uh, tell to crew members uh, who would like to start on board? 
Can you send them some uh, message if you would like to really advise on this job? Uh, definitely they're supposed to be patients. Not everybody could be directly a manager, hotel manager, general manager. It's not possible. Start with small steps. Uh, definitely they're supposed to think why they want to do these jobs. If they want to do these jobs just because of the money, then this is already the wrong reason. The wrong reason and they will not alive on reason. board. Yeah. No. Then much chance. more. Uh, yeah, you you need to uh, have more really self motivated. Exactly. Have, have to uh, be. You you need to understand. You are on board. You are working minimum 12 hours per day. You don't have weekends. You don't have any holidays. Nothing. You are four, five, six months on board uh, with the same people on the same place. How you? did uh, really uh, your rest time. When you had time, uh, did you visit uh, some nice cities, some nice places? Mm -hmm. What did you do that you were really alive all these months on board? Of course, it's very important uh, as well as small reset. So all the time when I uh, had the free time, I went outside to visit the city. I went to the trips because you have a possibilities to do a scout It's like you go to the trip with the guests, you don't pay for for it, you are just there as support. Wow, that's good uh, advantage for the that's crew members. very good uh, benefit, really. They could see a lot of places. You can you can even visit the restaurants on board, which are for the guests. That's as well a very nice benefit. And big, 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 big benefit on these jobs is you are traveling for free. Yeah, I think that people are not thinking about that. No, but, but this, this is a big really, advantage. Yeah. You can really, uh, really have a job on board, you can travel, yeah. you have food there. Yeah. What about food? You can tell me something more. Do you like the food on board? How it is? Food is excellent. You have different kind of kitchen, so nobody will stay hungry. Uh, the kitchen is opening almost 24 hours per day. Two hours it is closed because uh, as well they need to do some preparation and cleaning. But, That's uh, good that they are cleaning also. <laughs> Major for the crew members. We have very high standards uh, in cleaning and hygiene. Yeah, so you can really enjoy the food there yeah. for the crew members. It's excellent. And anytime you can come in and you can eat when you exactly. need food. Exactly. Even if you have some allergy or something, this everything you can find food there. Okay, so when somebody is gluten free, lacto free, you have possibility also for these crew members. Exactly. Amazing. And I would like to ask you, when you got ill on board, mm -hmm. uh, do you have their hospital, you have a doctor there, nurses? Uh, yes. They are able to help you when you need something? Yes. yes. We have uh, especially uh, opening hours just for the crew members in the hospital. So like you can go to visit the doctor. Crew members. Okay, when there is something uh, more necessary, you need hospital, you can go in our room. Do you think mm -hmm. that it's important for crew members uh, to know about top cruise employer who is on the market by voting of the crew members, the best employer? Definitely, because you need to think that the best employers are voted by the crew members. And this is For example, me personally, I, uh, if I would be a new in the job and I would see, okay, first rank is Arosa, second Aida and third Sea Chefs, this will be the three uh, companies I would like to work for. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. It was really a pleasure.